You're such an asshole. Good morning, Auschwitz uh, Pajama Cappy. How you kids doing? Cappy just woke up. I didn't wake up. I uh, I did wake up, obviously. Got a cup of coffee in my system, and then I turned on the new Oofy, which is the knockoff version of Roomba. Oh, that, that's... Uh... <laughs> it, it's a mentally impaired vacuum. I'm looking at it go, I'm like, oh, man, you are a special needs vacuum, aren't you? You have no idea what you're doing. Great programming job, guys. All right. Uh, this is from Anonymous. Uh, I'm going into my senior year as applied math, mathematics and statistics major uh, at the Colorado School of Mines. Good. Following my senior year, I could stay a fifth year and either get a master's in data science or in computer science. I believe a master's in data science will provide my with the right mind. It's, hey. You know, get a doctorate, but if you're not going to use the right words, I wonder if you're going to be successful in life. We'll provide my with the right technical skills to complement my applied math and statistics background. I agree. However, many people have told me that master's in computer science is more versatile. Ultimately, I would like to work as a machine learning engineer, data engineer, <clears throat> or something similar. I would like your opinion on which is the better choice. I would like a video response. I say, what degree will help get your job more effectively? In terms of niche, see, because here's the thing, guys. Guys, how do I do this? Your problems are not, do I do A or B? Your problems are that you don't do the freaking analysis. OK, you don't put in the time and you don't take the time to sit down and do strategic planning. And you're the now the good thing about you, and, and this is one of the this is this is I'm going to say it again. The great thing about going into STEM. Or accounting or picking a legitimate field is that once you are in the real world, like I'm going to go into a field that is going to pay. And then when it comes down, you nerds come up to me and like, well, do I go electrical engineering or mechanical engineering? Choose, dude. It's up to you. What do you find more interesting? Now you have the luxury of doing what you have more interest in. And then, but the problem I face, like I, <clears throat> would you like to become a financial consultant or a financial planner? All right. If I came up to you and asked you, well, should I become a financial consultant or a financial planner? You're not in the finance industry. Now you're encumbered with going and researching the job that the kids should have, that I should have done. Well, what do you want to become? And then what are the correspond? Like, you're going to make six figures either way. I did a little bit of research to the computer science degree will get you there a little quicker. But do you... Are you all right being a single bachelor only making 95000 a year? Doing what you really enjoy as opposed to making 101000 a year? Doing something you don't exactly want to do? That's the whole point of, of <clears throat> going into the real world and choosing a STEM skill, degree, major. Once you're in the ballpark, you could play whatever position you want. It's, it's kind of like you made it to the major leagues and now like you, it doesn't work this way. Just follow, here's, here's the analogy all you nerds keep giving me. Let's say you want to play major league baseball, but unlike how it's done in the real world, you know, you start off pitching in the fifth grade or you're a really good first baseman or something like that. All right. Obviously, but they don't care about that. Okay. They're just like, Hey, you're a good Baseball, you're good enough at baseball. We want you to come into the major leagues, right? And then they say, you could play whatever position you want. Okay. You made it into the major leagues. And you're coming up to, and you're going to get paid roughly the same no matter if you play center field, the catcher, the pitcher, the third baseman, whatever. And now you're coming up to me. Do I play third base or do I play left field? I'm whatever you want. Whichever one you want, you're in the major leagues. 
You're not a liberal arts major. You're not a social science major. You're not mentally impaired. You get to choose now. And whatever one is more in line with your career goals and objectives, that's what I would do. <clears throat> so I said, well, what gets you there quicker? In terms of niche data engineering roles, data science masters would be preferable because it's more specialized. There, there you go. However, given the likely incoming economic downturn, oh, here's another one, you young kids. Love well, I'm going to troubleshoot the economy. Oh, are you now? Oh. There's a, there's a, whatever. There is a nationwide or even global recession. Oh, yeah, you, you finitely, you know, splitting the hairs between computer science and data science, like that's going to matter. And it's a it's just to point out this this recession is a little different because none of your peer group is majoring in doing what you're doing and no one's showing up for work. So I would I would not worry about job security in your particular case. I mean, if you if your goal is to work in Silicon Valley, I might because it's a tech uh, skewed layoff. It may be worth having a broader set of computer skills with computer science masters. I just made the payment for the video response. <clears throat> no, uh, go get your data science degree, dude. That's what you want to do. It's a very legitimate field. Uh, if, if I, again, I don't know because I don't work in the industry. Computer science might be getting more laid off than I. You have a, a an okay undergrad. You you should have done data science or status. Well, you did do statistics and you did do applied study. I don't know why you didn't do actuarial science. That's just, that's just me. Um, You're not going to fail either way. They're both fine degrees. Go with the data science degree because that's what you want to do. Oh, that's right. That's I heard something upstairs. I'm like, is someone in my house? Do I have to go shoot someone? Oh, no. It's the... It's upstairs. It's it's the mentally impaired vacuum. It's my special vacuum. All right. Uh, it's at the, yeah, man. Uh, I would do that. Now, if you would like to. Okay. Okay. Hey, uh, just one other thing. After your master's degree, you got enough education. Okay, buddy. All right. You got enough. If you want to dabble into computer science, I would start taking or, or becoming proficient at different languages or skills that would kind of straddle both the data science world and computer science. Uh, I don't know what that would be, but I'm sure a lot of model programming, so you got to learn some kind of languages. That, that go Just get certifications from here on out, all right? You, you don't have to get a master's degree now. You get two master's degrees, okay? Yeah, it's a good deal one year. Get a master's degree, okay. Not, then, it, then, it, then it's worky time. Then it's go make, it, make a living. So I, they're perfectly fine. Both of them are perfectly fine. But you seem to want to do the data science route. Go do that. And then down the road, maybe not even necessarily too far down the road, but if it calls for it, go and start skilling up, getting certifications in the industry. All right. I'm going to have to go babysit my special needs vacuum. I'll see you guys later. Toodles.